Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be doing a manicure um, for, for autism awareness. So let's go ahead and start. On all of the nails except for the ring fingers, because that's going to have kind of an accent on it, I just have one coat of a nude color, color from Orly, and it's sheer peach. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some striping tape. It doesn't matter what color it is. This is a really thin one. This particular one is black, and I'm only choosing that so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to just put put a line down the center of my nail. Now I'm going to do it just slightly off center. So I'm going to put that so that the, the edge of it is going directly along the center. I'm actually just using this as a guideline. Okay, I'm going to snip off the end. And I'm going to start doing, I'm going to make um, four color blocks along this nail. I have red from InstaDry. It's rapid red. The yellow one, lightning. Use brisk blue, also Insta Dry, and it's one. It's a striper from LA Colors, and it's just called Bright Green. Okay, so what I'm going to start with is I'm going to cut straight across the center to create my center line. Okay, and then I'm going to fill in that top quadrant with green. Okay, so there's the green. I tried to make it as even as possible. Next, I'm going to take the blue, and I'm just going to go along that, that halfway line, and I'm going to fill that in with blue. Okay? Then I'm going to remove the striping tape, and then I'm going to take my yellow polish, and I'm going to create the t other quadrant next to the green. Okay. And then finally, I'm going to fill in that last corner or that last quarter of the nail with red. Okay, so now that I have those four colors on my nail, I'm going to, while I let these dry, we're going to move on to the other fingers. Using the blue, I'm going to do like a pointed French along the tips. It's nice and easy to do. You would just start at the outside and bring it down at an angle. And then you'll go ahead and do the same on the other side so that you have a pointed French tip. I'm going to do that on all of the nails, and then I'm going to clean up around those cuticles. Okay, so here they are. And now what we're going to do is do a little bit more to this. So what I'm doing is just taking a plate, the back side of a plate that doesn't have a covering on it. You can use a tile or whatever you'd like. Um, I'm going to drop polish on there. And then I'm going to take a dotting tool, and I'm going to use the one that has the largest end, and I'm going to pick that up, and I'm going to line the biggest dot right along the center of the line that, where the green and the yellow meet. I'm going to tap it around to try to make it a large and uniform dot so that half of it goes into the yellow. And then I'm going to do the same with all of the other colors. Okay, so here it is, and now it's starting to look a little more like those puzzle pieces. So what I need to do is let that dry just slightly, and while that is happening, I'm going to take my dotting tool and flip it over to the smaller side, and let's start with some red. I'm going to dip into the red, and right where the point is, I'm going to put a dot there, and then make smaller dots on their way out on both sides. Okay. 
Okay. Now you can do the same color on the other nails as well, but I am going to do a yellow and then a green. Okay, so here are my dotted tips. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take either a black lining polish or regular black polish with a very small tipped brush and placing a, I'm going to use the small brush, so using this and dipping into that black polish, I'm going to go along the line of the edges of those puzzle pieces. Okay, so here it is. And now all we have to do is give that just a minute to dry, and then we're going to follow that up with top coat. And that will take away, it will smooth out all of the little bumps and stuff from filling it in and make it extra shiny. Okay, so here it is, top coated. And you can see now there's no bumpy look to that. So that is it for this one. I hope you guys like it. Um, I will put a link in the description box to where I got my striping tape and dotting tools and all that kind of stuff, so be sure to read that. And that is it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.